thought I'd run through and show everybody how to use Zarine Stacker to maximize your depth of field in your macro or micro photography. First thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go in, move this down. I'm going to open up Zarine here. I've already got it opened. And I'm going to open up some pre shot snail shell photos that I have taken at different lengths. Um, I think I shot them at a f4 something like that and um, I took them at different focal points of the shell. Um, we'll click through here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now what Zareen does, Zareen is taking all of this information and it has algorithms in there that smacks all of these together for you. Um, Zareen is Windows and Linux. I believe it's Mac as well uh, compatible. They've got downloads for each one. So let's minimize this. Um, you've also got different types of stacking. You've got your pyramid, which is your Pmax, and your D. Your D map, which is uh, based off color. But we're going to do both right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click this one. Each shot on your left, the left side of the screen is the actual JPEG that we're hitting. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't do raw. But uh, on your right is going to show your progress. It's going to show your current stack. <clears throat> and this is going to go through, and I'm not going to edit this out. I'm just going to let this roll so you see um, the time frame. I've got like 50 something photos, I think, 57, 58 photos that I had taken. And I think I took them, I took them with my uh, 65 millimeter macro lens off of my 50D Canon. The flash I used was the MR14EX macro ring light. Okay, so my Pmax, um, my pyramid's done. Um, <clears throat> and that's right there on top. Right now we're going through the DMAP process. It's going to go through here and, and uh, align each one of these JPEGs up. And I do both for retouching purposes um, almost every time. Uh, sometimes if you're doing this on a uh, microscope objective like I, I do with my uh, I got an Nikon 10x microscope objective that I connect to my camera and um, when I'm using it it's good to have the color as well as the other one so you can go in between because it picks up the smallest amount of dust on your sensor this is gonna take your percentile up or down depending on where the image is hazy as you can see in that little hole in the snail shell and out on the side we're gonna take uh, take it till that fuzzy is kinda covered up by the by the black and then it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna run through the stack again based on the percentile that you put in We'll just go ahead and go 
keep the video at real time speed. Okay, we'll go back up to edit and go to start to retouching. That's what's another thing that's really cool about this uh, Zareen stacker is it's got a, a retouch inside of it. So you don't have to fiddle around too much with Photoshop or whatever image editor you use, GIMP or whatever. Okay, the one on the right is your DMAP right now. If we were to click on the PMAX, we would come up with a PMAX on the one that we're doing the retouch on. Okay. So <clears throat> right now we're going to stay on the on the uh D map obviously on the right and we're going to keep the Pmax on the left. We're going to zoom into 50% and we're going to start doing a retouch. And you can adjust your brush size just like you can with Photoshop and any other image editor by pressing your little bracket signs. That's hotkeys. I'm going to take this little fuzziness off that I see here. Kind of browse through here real quick and see if there's any shapes that we need to take care of through retouching. I don't think I like that. I don't like the outside of that. I think I might just go ahead and stick with the uh, with what the D map has. I think I like the color better. So I'm just going to go ahead and repaint back over that. And I think we're about done. I'm going to take care of that little hair, what that is, whatever that is, little fabric right above that little hole. We're going to go ahead and save our output image on the uh, retouched. It's dubbed to retouch. And I'm going to save it to my card. And type in snail underscore shell underscore retouched. Save it as a TIFF image. It'll give you the most information. And we'll edit it in Photoshop. Do any type of sharpening or color correction that we need to do. And here's the final image. As you can see, everything's in focus. Nice, crisp, clear. Um, I could have cleaned up the dirt on the on the snail shell, but uh, I wasn't really going for a uh, perfect photo. I was going for instructional, so it's not too big of a deal for me. Um, you can see all the nice little cracks around the, the hole that the snail received. Um, everything's in focus. Everything looks good. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you're interested, you can go by www.thenorthcole.com and check out some of my work if you'd like to. I also have a little blog there, so thanks for watching.